Hello everyone and welcome back to Rival Stars Horse Racing. We're here at the beautiful Butterfly Trails Horse Ranch. TJ and I have been ridiculously busy getting our beautiful new five-star female horse. Let me see if I can find her. Our mare Erratic Edge racing and training up. She has run over 30 races now and she has finally gotten to the point where she is level 21 on her abilities to be trained, which is right on the heel or I should say hooves of our amazing cafe princess by the way so these two are actually really really similar now in terms of their skills I think cafe princess just prefers like middle position hard and then what I actually never even checked what erotic edge prefers so let's find out so she also loves middle position and hard track so they're kind of like exactly the same however Huh. We needed to prove to the world that we have what it takes to take good care of our horses and complete a current story quest that we have with TJ to train a horse to level 21 speed, sprint energy, and acceleration. And now after so much work and racing, in which I actually did become a lot closer to Erratic Edge, I have to say, we can finally train her up. <laughs> There we go. Sprint energy, acceleration, speed, all level 21. Boom! We've done it! What do you think about that, TJ? Yes! Uh, Aussies really know their stuff. <laughs> I guess that's because uh, bloody oath we do. See, I knew that Sophie wasn't British. A lot of you guys said she was British. No, I knew she was Australian. And we've managed to finally, finally, finally complete that, which I think means we're about to hit level 10. We're halfway there on our adventures in Rival Stars. Huh, I'll have to tell you my, uh, I'll have to tell my aunt to visit someday. She'd enjoy meeting you. See, look at that. Our employees are happy. Hopefully I give them benefits so they'll be even happier. And boom, we have now unlocked Breaker Bay, new customization options available for when we get around to customizing our horses, and there are some new goals to tackle. Holy cow, there's a lot of- oh wait, vet the vet? A dedicated vet helps greatly with keeping horses healthy. We should employ one. <gasps> We're gonna hire a vet to take care of things here in our horse stall? That makes so much sense! And it actually makes me really excited for in the future when we get the like Sims 3 horse legacy that I want to create going. We could have all sorts of different characters come. Like I was just thinking about somebody to own the ranch, but we could have someone who could just be like our accountant and maybe they like work in the business track and like write books about our horses. Uh, we we could have somebody who works at just like training like TJ we could have a vet all oh, the options I'm so excited all right let's upgrade this full stall okay let's see we have plenty of money and resources to upgrade it boom and now we can make a level six horse oh we're definitely gonna need to be working on that holy cow here oh oh and heavenly asteroid is is falling you guys new fall Come on, Spots. <gasps> we got her, Spots. This is not a drill, you guys. We got her, Spots. Yes. She is not a four-star horse, unfortunately. However, she is so beautiful. We have Spots on dots. Look at that. Okay, that is what I really, really was hoping for. We're going to skip to mirror with her. Look at her beautiful white eyelashes. We're going to go ahead. Uh, I do need to sell a horse if we're going to be able to make room. So I think we're actually going to go ahead and sell Priceless Nurse because I don't think Priceless Nurse, like they have some pretty interesting pedigree with Outlaw Chase and Desperate Goldfish. Um, but I think that we're, we already have so many other stallions and Priceless Nurse doesn't really have the things we're going for. So we're gonna have him find a new home. Hopefully as a wonderful like therapy horse for someone. That would make me super happy. All right, we're gonna skip to Mare on this beautiful, beautiful, silvery subject. Oh, we're gonna name her Silvery, um, Silvery Moons. There we go, cause she has like little moon dots everywhere. Oh, and I don't know, like she's not the rank that we're looking for. We're trying to get another rank five horse so that we can go ahead and breed that rank five horse with our wonderful cafe princess, but I will accept her into the family because maybe her pedigree will help us out when it comes to being able to breed with some other horses in the future. Uh, also, can I add more horse stalls? Yes! Oh, I can! Oh no! But only one! Okay, we'll have to be careful with that. 
All right, oh, and look at Whisper Tiramisu. She's just amazing. So I wonder, maybe we can have Silvery Moons possibly breed? Let's upgrade this stall too, so that just all of our full stalls are as high max level as they can be. But what if we actually had Silvery Moons with her slightly different inheritance. She's a little bit darker than her mom and has a couple more, she has a bit more of a mask, but the spots are almost identical. Yeah, the spots are identical. What if we have her actually breed? Oh, we still have Invisible Cheetah! Oh, maybe, maybe! I don't know if this is very healthy for horses, but there's a 57% chance that we could have a level 4 horse. Um, hmm. Goat group. Now, goat group has spots too, and that would be 67% chance. What does goat group have? I don't think he's got a lot. Hmm. Let's try with Invisible Cheetah. And we're looking for a level five, or excuse me, like a rank five or four at this point, horse that has these spots. That's what we're going for. Uh, but for now, let's check in. And we've upgraded the full star with our own dedicated vet. I love it. The new vet is already making a huge difference. More people on staff. I'm sure we'll have the money for that. Uh, all right, and then Power Prodigy. I've been looking ahead to the upcoming races and reckon we should breed a powerful horse. We're gonna need it. Breed or buy a grade five or higher horse. Run 2000 meters over multiple races. Okay, we're working on that project right now. Keep racing. No time like the present to get back out there and win some awards. So win first place at Pearl River Race 2 and win 40,000 uh, 40, gold from racing. Uh, I'm pretty sure Cafe Princess could easily tackle that. First place, Pearl River, race two, was it? Let's double check. Yep, race two. Oh, I know that Cafe Princess can handle this. All right, ooh, actually, TJ wants Erratic Edge to run it. Cafe Princess has slightly worse odds. What? Oh, my. I guess she prefers, like, like shorter distances. So this is a shorter distance. Okay, well, we'll go ahead and select, like, Caf like Erratic Edge, then. I hope Cafe Princess won't feel like we're sort of edging her out. But let's start the race, skip to results. And I'm pretty sure we should earn enough gold if we win this. Uh, that it should be okay. And you know, it's good to have- Yeah, look at that! Woo! Boom! Mission complete. Good job, Erratic Edge. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Okay, didn't mean to do whatever that was. Ooh, Breaker Bay is unlocked! <gasps> look at that! Oh my gosh! We'll have a new adventure to be able to go on. Um, win 40,000 from the races. Ah, I see, Francis. Okay. Well, can we run Breaker Bay? Do we have a horse t rough and tough enough? Erratic Edge? What? We do have some horses rough and tough enough. Cafe, you know what? Let's let Cafe Princess race it. Because she, she's just our great girl. She's our hero. She's going to lead our, like, horse cafe. Where people can, like, watch our horses while they nibble on cookies. Oh, and we could have cute, like, oh, now I'm going to have to make a horse cafe in zoo crafting, because think of how cute you could theme all of the different foods around. Boom! See? She may be max level, and she might not be able to make it much further in Breaker Bay, but gosh darn it, Cafe Princess is still one of our best horses. All right, so we'll collect that. Nice work out there. You're resembling your father more and more every day. Both he and your grandparents would be so proud of you. <laughs> is like everybody in my family's dead <laughs> thanks Francis I'm glad I got you at least honorary grandpa uh, all right meanwhile breeding consultant I've contacted a consultant to come and access our breeding program I'm hoping to learn a thing or two so we need to breed three horses we can totally get on top of that and then TJ this heat is taking its toll. I'd like to install a sunshade to keep the sun off the horses. Oh, we can totally upgrade the, the stables. It's like way beyond time to be able to do this. All right, max speed is now upgraded. Now sprint energy upgraded. Oh, ooh! oh, look at the walls. The walls have changed. Nice. We're getting some like actual visual differences again. We're becoming like a proper facility, if you ask me. Now we can train our horses without having to worry about sunburn. I didn't know horses got sunburned. So I have learned something new today. Thank you, TJ. With everything that's been going on, I only now got around to calling my aunt. 
It was a weird call, to be honest. She tried to get some insider race info out of me. I think she was joking, but I really hope she's not in any trouble. Uh-oh, TJ is your aunt, like, in money trouble? This is why you shouldn't gamble, kids. <laughs> All right, so we also have Rocking Horse. I think we should set up a stage for bands at the campsite. Concerts entertain the campers and generate extra income. I agree with you, Francis. I love that we're so rich we can just be like, yes, yes, that sounds wonderful. Let's just, let's just upgrade things, why not? Is the house gonna get an upgrade from that? We installed the new stage. I think it's a great addition. Excellent, we'll upgrade the storehouse. Is that gonna get a new look? Nope, not this time. We've added new a new equipment shed to this concert area for all that gear. Oh, I love how nice and tidy and organized we're getting. It really feels fantastic to clean up like a kind of neglected area and just make it nice. It's good that we can take advantage of the good weather. The ranch is so big, I can't even hear the noise at night. Ah, oh, I love this ranch. All right, and then power training. We got, uh, we've got we got training to do as usual. So train speed 16 times, sprint energy 16 times, and acceleration 16 times. I can totally handle that, but for now, I'm much more interested in our foals. So let's wrap this up by actually getting to see some more of our foals. We do need to breed like a level five horse, but I was really kind of crossing my fingers. I mean, Cafe Princess and Invisible Cheetah might have an interesting horse. He has helped us out quite a bit. He does have a really cool background. So let's get more of Invisible Cheetah's babies in here. And we'll check that out. And meanwhile, it's time to meet Silvery Moon's new foal. Fingers crossed this is going to be another one with her amazing spots. <gasps> oh, you're so pretty. You're like Tiramisu. A new filly, you guys. Oh, she's lovely. She looks a lot like Tiramisu. Unfortunate. Oh, Turkey Toffee. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Toffee is kind of like a sweet thing too. Unfortunately, she isn't the rank or the colors that we're going for, so we will go ahead and have Turkey Toffee. As beautiful as she is, there, I took a couple screenshots just now. We are gonna let her go ahead and find a new home. Let me know in the comments if one of you would take her home. That'd be really cool if you could like give horses to your friends. And we're gonna try Silvery Moon. We're gonna try Silvery Moons again. Maybe, or you know what, because we had good luck and we had success with uh, Heavenly Asteroid and Invisible Cheetah passing on these spots before, let's see if we're going to have any luck with that 57% chance of a rank 4 horse. There we go. Alright. Meanwhile, there's a lot of time before Cafe Princess is ready to go ahead and reveal her baby, but we have a lot of money. So, Heavenly Asteroid... Yes! Another one covered in spots and dots with even cooler colors and it's a Philly rank four! We're getting closer and closer, you guys! Oh, that's what we wanted! Okay, so let's go ahead and skip to Mare. And we're gonna have her hopefully get us Surreal Faith. Oh, what a beautiful name. Surreal Faith. I'm gonna call her Surreal Stars. There we go. And we'll actually make room. Her sister, Silvery Moons, can go ahead and find a new home, a new family with some of you guys. Because we're actually going to field, garden, infield, pasture. Oh, that's pretty. I actually really like that a lot. Galloping. Inquisitive. Oh, she's so cute. Noble. I love these poses. But we're gonna have Silvery Moons find a new home then because now Surreal Stars is going to be trying to pass on those beautiful spots and dots to a rank five horse, which I'm really hopeful about. So we're gonna go ahead and sell her. I loved you, Silvery Moons. I have pictures of her. And then let's actually come in and we are going to just, I, I don't know if this is good for our horses whatsoever, um, but we're actually going to breed Surreal Stars with Invisible Cheetah because we have had so much luck with being able to go ahead and actually have, uh, like, the stars passed on. Also, I totally forgot to check if that was going to give us a higher rank or not, though. <laughs> oh, well, we'll find out with this. Oh, and not the higher rank. 
but we did get an adorable little filly. Hi! So I think distant darling, that's perfect. I think we are starting to see some of the genetics kind of get teased out a little bit. And it doesn't seem like it matters if you breed the horses with like their family members, even though what does distant darling's pedigree look like now? Invisible cheetah, invisible cheetah. That makes me feel awkward. So we'll try to avoid that, but it doesn't seem to have affected things too much. <laughs> but all right guys, thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. We are making a little bit of progress. Oh, and we just bred the three horses. The visit went well. The consultant was quite impressed. Sweet. We are starting to make some, oh, crowd pleaser. Sell a horse with a middle position preference. Huh. Yeah, we're making some good progress, I think. And we're really starting to get lots of spots, which makes me so freaking happy. Hopefully we can keep up the amazing spots and uh, other surprises like Whisper Teramisu's amazing coloring. And we will carry on with this glorious, relaxing time amongst the horses next time. So if you guys could, do please leave a like for Surreal Stars, Silvery Moons, and Distant Darling. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!